Hello. I am going to show you how to do a fairly simple chain mail. Um, I honestly don't know the exact name of this guy, but um, it's really nice for earrings. It's also really nice for a chain bracelet. Looks like little crosses. Now, depending on the size of your jump ring is going to help you decide how many rings you're going to use. Um, these jump rings for the earrings, I find they sit better if there's two in every single section, so it's doubled up. As for with this bracelet, most of it's doubled except for these guys that finish off the little crosses. So to start, I make two sets of two, two, and two. <clears throat> or you can do this any color you want. I find when you're first starting, it's nice to have two different colors. It also looks really nice, but it's easier to tell what's going on when you have two different colors. Now, um, I'm going to go from adding these six jump rings together to connecting the center pieces with two on each side. When I, and I'm going to use the gold color. So when I open my jump ring, so you can see there's already a little slit in the jump ring. I'm going to open towards me or away. And I'm going to hook that jump ring through all of the silver ones. The thing that's most frustrating, I think, about doing chain mail is that it's very fumbly. And when you're creating it, it sometimes can lose its shape and it can be disorienting and hard to tell what's really going on. But if you were to let go after adding that one jump ring, you'll see clearly that you're joining the center. Now I'm gonna add two there because I'm adding two for every section. It's nice to be able to keep it in your hand. Um, another option is to use a piece of string that goes through that in the section that you're working on. Now I'm going to take a gold jump ring and put it right next to the other gold jump ring. Close it up. Okay, so if I put my pliers down, which sometimes I have a hard time doing, you can see that the center is connected. Now if I were to put a piece of string through this, so you can see what's going on. Now these guys as they come together and the bottom ones as they come together, then you'll be done. So you just take right where I have the string going through, you can even keep the string that's going through there, and just weave two jump rings through that section and then you can take another piece of string or the same piece of string and weave it through the bottom four gold 